So for the next lightning talk, I want to ask Tobias to come on stage, my webinar buddy and colleague. He's going to talk about Android and cross-repository work and how Android teams work together and what they plan in the future. So Toby, let me find your slides. Take this one? Yeah, it's yours. Nope. Go for it. Yeah, thanks for the introduction. Yeah, I want to talk with you about uh, how we want to work closely uh, on Nextcloud between our two Android projects. And yeah, what is the past? The past was we, and we still have two different repositories on files and talk, but Back in the past, we had no code exchange, no common infrastructure. For example, we had different Android versions which we were supporting, and also we had different Java versions where we compiled the code on. So it was not really possible to help because you had always to switch to the different Android studios, and actually there was no knowledge exchange. So yeah, the teams were on their own, and we just figured out that this is just kind of not good. And now we wanted to transition into a better system, so we. Uh, evolved or uh, implemented regular meetings where we're discussing new patterns, agreeing on new technologies. For example, we want to now uh, switch our um, image library back from on Android files. It's a common, uh, it's a self implemented version. On talk, we are using, uh, as far as I remember, it is Fresco. And also, we're using on files another uh, library that is called Clyde. So as you can see, we have three different libraries for exactly the same purpose. There is also no knowledge exchange possible, but we want to change this, and also the uh, idea is to help each other have hunting bugs down, and also help each other when the others are on vacation. But that's not all. We also have now the, uh, had the idea to create repositories where we exclude, uh, extract common code or coming in conflicts. And you can see here on the uh, right that uh, is a short um, or a small graphic which Alvaro, one of our Android developers, uh, created, where you can see how the whole concept and how the whole idea is behind. So that uh, everything like talk and files is using Android library, which is for communication to the server, Android common, which should then contain all our UI, UX stuff, uh, common code, and Android config is for uh, the um, configuration part, which I will show you now. So yeah, on config uh, repo is uh, including uh, currently our uh, GitHub actions and workflows, like the stable board, Qt, QL, which is a security scanner, and we are just implementing it once, once it comes in a repo, and then it's automatically synced all the changes back to Android library, Android files, and Android talk. And I think that just helps to ease uh, the duplication of work. On the common repository, we plan to have uh, releases which are following our semantic versioning, same, similar to our Android library. And right now it can, uh, contains the first parts of the material designs. And Alvaro did a very great job in implementing first the material design on, uh, on talk, then extracting, extracting the uh, generic and common logic to this repository, and also is now doing uh, implementing the same on the Android files, which I showed you recently yesterday in our keynote. So there you can see if there is one bug, for example, there the computation of a color is not co correct, this will now directly benefit both uh, projects, files, and talk. And as an outlook, we want to have in talk uh, Android, uh, the, uh, the uh, adding the single sign-on library using the Android library. So again, to ease the duplication of work. And we want now to extract even more code into our common uh, repository, like uh, the user status dialog, which is currently just a duplication from Android files where I implemented it to Android talk, and this is just not good because we have to change all the things double and twice. Similar for our test setup where we have uh, many, many different tests like unit tests, end-to-end uh, -end tests, and also screenshots testing. There's just a common test setup and we want to extract this to our repository. And on the config side, we want to uh, create even more CI checks, extract spotless, detecting stuff, so that, again, only uh, we have to maintain one uh, common um, yeah, CI and uh, config changes. 
Yeah, and why am I telling this? Because, of course, it's open source, you can join us, you can use it in your own Android library, so you can directly benefit from our ideas, from our help, how to uh, create test setups, how to use it, and, of course, also you do not have to duplicate the word work, and there's no limit. If you add any code which is only purely needed on your um, Android app, it might help still other uh, Android apps in the future, so we can remove those uh, unneeded things right now with ProGuard, so it is no problem to add those codes. Yeah, and that's all. I don't have an exit slide, so thanks for that. Toby, thank you so much, man. Awesome work. <laughs>